Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. May Jesus Christ bless you. Hey, lover. Kind of nearing the end of my walk, but if I don't talk about this now, it ain't going to pop up again. It just... One of those things I've been wanting to bring up the topic of, but I just kind of keep slipping my mind. Anyway. Um, I'm, going to, I'm not going to call it the state of the Australian economy. I'm going to call it the self-evident position of Australian arrogance. And um, so I keep saying it again and again and again. Aussies don't need help until they go through a couple of years of some severe hardship. I'm talking real, like, back-breaking hardship, eh? Like, yoke around the shoulder, maybe a war even. Not that that's what I wish, but it just, it's where it's at. So privileged, so entitled, so arrogant, so schoolyard bullying bullshit, so just mediocre. Anyway, back to it. So, this was actually back Easter. Um, I find myself in the most precarious positions where I can wipe out a city's telecommunications. It's interesting, isn't it? And um, I didn't want to have to pay for my cable locations because the long and short of it is, their cable was where I wanted to um, drill. And I was like, well, if you don't come and tell me where your cables are, I'm just going to drill it. Anyway, so I ended up with a handful of different maps and <whistles> sitting on a, um, uh, a, a minefield. And um, so in regards to it, I was after some specific locations because I got bollards in the paddocks at the stating there's something near at some point, for some reason specific. Anyway, um, so first and foremost, I was like, where's the, the telecommunication lines for the main building? Anyway, so um, I got the telecommunications company out to come and locate their cable. And the first thing that I thought that was interesting was um, how lazy the install was. Like, um, they added an extra two to three hundred metres of cable onto the job because they couldn't be bothered going through a barbed wire fence. So they went up to gates so they could go through gates and then come back through them. Just mind blowing. Now, you could say it's because they've got a plough on the back of it and they're obviously rolling out a cable, but like, it's more than that. It's just typical utter laziness. It's the Australian mediocrity you've got to suffer too often. Anyway, um, so in regards to that, uh, let's pull back from it because I had to f develop a position to be able to get the location where nothing was paid. And because um, there was no need to pay for it, but what annoys me is is um for cable locators in Australia it's a six hundred dollar call out fee <laughs> anyway, so I used to do Navi track location back in my early twenties anyway so I um I, you wouldn't credit it I went on eBay that night and there was a bloody top notch brand one on um super special and uh, you also wouldn't credit it when you know how to play eBay properly I got it for like bugger all <laughs> anyway, so um, it's lovely to be able to locate cables and fiber optics and power and gas and other things that you want to locate and um, do it as you choose and there's no $600 call out fee for me anyway so there's number one how entitled is that, a $600 call-out fee, to come and locate a cable, which is just using a machine to locate it under the ground, or pissing around with a little bit of um, surveyor's paint to tell you the depth. Like, it's just, it's not hard work. So, the arrogance is, is it's an industry that believes, so we're talking a dial before you dig, cable locating. They, they believe it's hard, it's not hard. And obviously you're trying to preserve infrastructure, but like, it's just one big joke. Um, you shouldn't be paying to locate um, your nation's cables. 
they should be paying you to not hit them. You know what I mean? You've got to understand that's how it works. Anyway, so we figured that little game out. There's no more $600 an hour. I bought the machine. And um, we locate cables and do what we do. And life's quite easy. Next. Oh, well, there's one industry. So that's cable location. Next. Um, look, I've needed a mechanic twice. And we need to try and find a, a different mechanic. I'm not saying the mechanic's bad. It's not that. It's just um, diesel mechanics. Oh, they've obviously got a call out fee. But then not only that, have a go at this. In the tractor, I believe that my tractor got sabotaged. Because um, one day after someone was using it, I couldn't change the gears anymore. You just had to select one of them or two of them. Anyway, um, so we got the mechanic out. And it was a case of readjusting the adjusters for the gear stick to get the things to align again so they could all go back into gear. It's the only thing that could go out of alignment by using tools to do it. Anyway, that is what it is. But, um, God will deal with that one appropriately. But let's get back to it. That company, for someone to, oh, spray a bit of WD-40 and at first get out a shifter but they went beyond the shifter and got out the spanner rack and you know grabbed a specific size and, and they were just doing their thing 25 minutes work 560 bucks tough isn't it um, so they've got like a an initial call out fee in and it's like beyond that it's like 140 bucks an hour or something anyway so somehow for 25 minutes work it was 540 dollars for something that i could have done myself but so why i ensure that i'm with the mechanics when we have to suffer that mediocrity is um we won't be getting them twice for the same problem um what annoys me is we got them out for a job prior to that and it's to do with potentiometers and um, using electronics and solenoids to act as clutches and whatnot. And I was actually ahead of the game on them. And it wasn't until I mentioned a particular word that they grabbed it. And they were like, oh, it needs to be calibrated to a certain frequency. We calibrated it. And the thing would go back into gear again. And I was like, oh, $700 exercise, that one, for me to say what needed to happen. Because I sat down and looked at the user manual. Next. My um, KX, oh sorry, my KLX, needs a new head gasket, through no fault, no fault of my own, um, brand new engine, just for whatever reason with that brand new engine, head gasket was no good, I discovered that because um, <laughs> wouldn't have used it for an hour and a half and I had um, radiator fluid coming at the exhaust. Unbelievable, isn't it? So, that thing sat in the shed for the last year and maybe the radiator fluids rusted the engine out and it's all stuffed now. Anyway, so, you go to the local Kawasaki mechanic, 120 bucks an hour on the nose. $120 an hour on the nose. Alright? So I'm not saying I can't afford it couldn't care I could just take it down there it's just I'd hate to say it it's the principle I'm not paying someone who so arrogantly tells you you got to pay them 120 bucks an hour to work on your machine I couldn't have a big enough whip to ensure that they were that perfect for the work you know what I mean anyway so by the time they pull the plastics off and get rid of a few nuts and bolts two or three hours down you're nearly 400 bucks down the pole you know what I mean now, and that's the funny one that gets me, because then you go to the Yamaha shop, and um, you know, you got the wannabe Ricky Carmichael's with their, you know, their baseball caps with the flat front of it on it, and it's on slightly sideways, wearing their Fox gear and all the rest of it, and there's three of them working on a bike at once, and they're wanting 180 bucks an hour, and it's just like, so you're the type of cocksuckers that. 
were at the pub. Um, somehow, you know, they'd get knocked out on that night. No, I just... Anyway, so... I've gone to 140 bucks an hour, 180 bucks an hour, 120 bucks an hour, 600 dollar an hour call out fees, and um, there's one more here. I apologise for swearing earlier. That's it. So that's New South Wales. Now I want to talk about Victoria because um. Let's just not even start on Victorians, fortunately or un. Um, not trying to be you know, like discriminative, but like there's just something wrong with the place. It doesn't help the fact that you've got, you know, the Decepticon himself running the state and they've voted him in because half the place is full of fluoride because like they are completely indoctrinated by the system they believe everything the government says anyway um they'd they drink quick fluoride by the cupful if they could and, um let's not get into that anyway one of my center pivots i couldn't believe it even in the pivot industry the irrigation industry that's what i couldn't believe um turns out what i'm about to say next is a common practice and it blew my mind that it was. So, I needed 20 spray sets. You know, it's like, it's like you've got the elbow, you've got the dropper, pressure regulator, sprays, um, uh, nozzles, etc. Anyway, um, the price of the price, it was fine. But what I found interesting was this the invoice and I had to actually ring them up and ask them about it and, oh, and, and you hear that uh, 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 uh. they do it deliberately or unless you question them they get away with it you know <gasps> what they do is is they put the product down the page the product plus the tax equals the price yeah and then at the end of it, it's the price plus the tax equals what you're paying. So they tax the tax. That's Victoria for you. Couldn't believe it. Like, so what I'm trying to get at is like, it's so overwhelmingly full of rip-off merchants that um, I just... May God judge this place severely, so severely, it needs a war, or a severe famine, or just, uh, just, it needs to be brought to its knees, whatever it is, whatever it is, however it is, I'm not quite sure, but like, it's so smug, it's so arrogant, and it, they're just full of rip-off merchants, it's greed, it's, I don't know, and then you're like, well then is it greed, or are they just doing it purely to like keep, you know, a roof over the head, but... It's just one thing after the next after the next so they tax their tax or they do these exuberant hourly rates and like you know and then you've got the old worker who's still up making more than 20 or 30 bucks an hour you know what i mean i just i think australia needs a war i'd hate to say it and i'm not trying to be rude about it. i just some they're just so arrogant you know what I mean? And it's so unregulated, even they so that it's regulated, and it's just amazing how much they can get away with. Just the Australian government and Australians back the cheat. They back the criminal. They back foul play. Um, where unless you are cheating, life's not normal. You know what I mean? And if you say anything about it and you bring integrity to the surface, well, then somehow, how dare you question that? And it's just like, but why are you a cheat? And why do you think it's all right to get away with it? And so, I don't know what the answer is, but in my lifetime, I'd like to see God bring Australia to its knees and just, yeah, in the proverbial sense, wring the glycogen out of their muscles and completely just leave them bare. 
strip them dry and just allow them to really suffer some hardship just so they can, you know, it's not that I believe that it's a good thing, but at the same time, Aussies don't know what it's like to struggle. I mean, really struggle. See, Australia needed the GFC. They didn't get it. It would have made them better people, but because they, you know, weathered it, now what you've got is just entitled know-it-alls that know fuck all. And they're rip-off merchants, and, yeah, no wonder the movie The Matrix was filmed in Sydney, because, you know... You've never come across such a brainwashed people that have such belief in what its government says. It's just absolutely mind warping. Anyway, so that's it for now. I just wanted to mention this because at some point someone will watch this and they'll grab it. Um, it's pride and greed and arrogance and jealousy and just, it's a crime scene. Australia is a crime scene. Anyway. May God bless you, Jesus loves you, may the Holy Spirit work with you, bye for now.